Yeah, and Bill and Candace, while there will be more easings of restrictions starting Wednesday, July 1st, for businesses, as you mentioned, there will still be some restrictions that it will be carrying over from phase two. Good afternoon. In announcing his decision to begin phase three July 1st, Governor Ralph Northam pointed to positive trends in data such as hospitalization rates and capacity and percent positivity of COVID-19 tests. And I want to remind all of you, this is because Virginians, you, have followed the guidelines of social distancing, hand washing, and use of facial protection, and we encourage you to continue doing that. Northam adds, despite being behind in beginning phase two, Northern Virginia and the city of Richmond should be a part of this move. If they're not comfortable, Cam, if they're if their numbers aren't to their satisfaction, then we'll certainly have that discussion. A city official tells CBS 6 they're optimistic Richmond will start phase three July 1st based on local data and an official decision will be made later this week. In terms of what phase three will look like, some things won't change. It still means you're safer at home, especially if you're vulnerable. It means we're still strongly encouraged, encouraging teleworking. But other things will, such as allowing social gatherings to have up to 250 people, no more caps on customers at non-essential retail and restaurants, but physical distancing will be required for the latter, and entertainment venues like museums can open up to 50% capacity with a cap of 1,000 people. And Northam urges, as restrictions are lifted, Virginians should continue to take the virus seriously so that there isn't a spike in new cases like other states have seen. Be cautious and take the necessary steps to protect yourself and the people around you. Now, a spokesperson for Governor Northam says phase three will last at least two weeks, and they are still working on the details about what comes after phase three. Working for you at the state capitol, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.